What are you working on, Dot? I've decided to start Dot's Digest back up. I'm waiting on my first big story. You're waiting on your first big story? Then what's all of this? Just making sure my fingers are limber for when that story finally comes along. I don't want to waste any time getting it to print. Sarah, the quiet time group just got a new puppy and brought it to work today. Maybe you could write about that? No, that's too normal. I want to report on something different, something strange and colorful, something no one's even heard of before. I want my readers to say things like, what? Really? I didn't even know that was a thing. Hey, Dot, um, I have this hat and this trench coat, and I tried to make it work with the rest of the outfit, and I couldn't do it. And then, like, I wanted to wear the hat and the other hat, but my head's not big enough. I tried for an hour. Do you want them? Sure. Here you go. I'm not sure what you're looking for exists at Connect HQ. Yeah, I might be waiting a while. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is the time I set out to find the truth. Come on, something interesting has to happen sooner or later. It felt like I had been waiting for days. I knew the perfect story was out there, somewhere. It just hadn't shown itself yet. One new message. I shouldn't have been surprised that Mike's laptop would have such a dramatic message alert noise. And as my luck would have it, the drama was only getting started. We need to talk. Connect HQ's in trouble. Meet me down in the basement. I had no idea who sent the message, but I knew in my gut, this was it. This was what I had been waiting for. The chance to uncover the new story of a lifetime. I had to get down to the basement, and quick. As I arrived, I couldn't help but wonder why a snitch would want to meet here. If I knew Connect HQ was in trouble, I would want to shout it from the rooftops and bring in all my friends to help. What kind of shady character would ask for a secret meeting in the basement? Hello? <laughs> Hello, Dot. It was Claire, the kid from the neighborhood. She's cute, but don't let her looks fool you. She knows more about what goes on at Connect HQ than most people. You sent me that email? Yeah, I knew if anyone could help me, you could. Tip you, Mitt. Tell me what you know. Well, the Connect board is closing Connect HQ. Wait, does that sound safe with my watch now? When did that happen? Sorry, Claire. Don't be a bunny. I'm not sure where you dug up that information, but... I saw an email sent from the Connect board to Captain Alyssa, which read that they're closing Connect HQ. Really? You saw the email? With my own eyes? I knew Claire wouldn't feed me a line, especially not about something like this, which meant there was only one thing I could do. We need to investigate. We need to follow the facts and figure out what's true. Are you sure we're old enough to do this? Of course I am. And besides, God can help us. God, please help me learn and see the truth that you are teaching me. That's a really good point. God, please help me learn and see the truth that you are teaching me. Now, enough of this dilly-dally. Show me where you saw that email. Sure thing, follow me. I was uneasy as Claire and I took our first steps into the hub. What would we discover? Was Connect HQ really in a jam? I didn't want to waste any time finding out. You have no new messages? I had been hoping this story would be duck soup, but I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Someone must have already deleted the message. I can't believe it. It must have been a cover-up. Break it up, Claire. Just because the email isn't there doesn't mean someone is trying to hide the evidence. Sometimes our feelings tell us something might be true, but our feelings aren't always right. 
If we're going to figure this out, we need to go to sources we can trust. Sources we can trust? What does that mean? When you want to know what's true, you need good sources. Sometimes that might mean talking to a parent or a teacher. Other times you might find the truth through an educational video or an app that your parents or teachers give you permission to use. But if we're going to get to the bottom of this story, we need to find a source here at Connect HQ. Dun, dun, dun. One, new voice message. So, uh, I don't want to worry anyone, but if anyone else has heard something, uh, recently about the future of Connect HQ, um, come find me. I'm freaking out here. I know what source we're gonna track down next. Mike looked like a mess. I wondered if someone made the mistake of giving him a cup of joe. But as he glanced toward me and Claire, I could tell there was something else weighing on him. What are you two doing here? We heard your message. Oh yeah? Well, what do you know? That's what we came here to ask you. Out with it! What's the rumble? I don't even know if I should be talking to you two. This seems like a conversation that I should have with Alyssa. Plus, I don't know if I'm up for figuring out what's true or not. Don't be a palooka, Mike. We can figure out the truth together. Here, can I see your tablet? Sure. Watch this. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive. After Paul became a Christian, he traveled from town to town with his friend Silas, teaching people the good news about Jesus. But not everyone wanted to hear about Jesus. Some people in a town called Thessalonica got so worked up by what they were hearing that they chased Paul and Silas out of town. But Paul and Silas didn't let this stop them. They went on to the next town, a place called Berea. The Bereans, the people who live in Berea, were different from the people Paul and Silas met in Thessalonica. When they heard Paul and Silas speak about Jesus, they were open-minded and listened to what they had to say. Not only that, but after they heard the good news, they went to the Bible to investigate. They wanted to see whether Paul and Silas's words matched up with what the Bible said. They discovered that Paul and Silas were speaking the truth. And as a result, many Bereans made the choice to believe in Jesus. When we're looking for the truth, it's a good idea to follow the Bereans' example. And there are lots of ways we can. We can be open to learning. We can listen to people teach. We can pray about the things we hear. And we can search the Bible to see whether this new information holds up. You're getting old enough to read the Bible on your own, pray on your own, and seek God on your own. If you follow after Jesus in these ways, He will reveal the truth to you. See, Mike, the story of the Bereans shows us that we can figure out what's true. They were open-minded and listened to Paul, but still tested what he said by searching for the truth in Scripture on their own. We can be the same way by being open to learning, listening to what other people have to say, and praying for what we hear. We can figure this out together, just like the Bereans. Okay, fine. Here's what I know. Maurice told me earlier today that while he was in the air ducts, he heard Alyssa talking to someone saying that the Connect HQ board was gonna close down Connect HQ. And all the field offices. What? The story's even bigger than we thought. Maurice heard Alyssa say this, word for word. You sure this is some kind of grift? Uh, I mean, it was something like that. I'm pretty sure I got the gist of it. Track down Maurice. I want to hear exactly what he heard Alyssa say. Where are you going now? I'm going to get on the horn. It's time to call the Connect board. <laughs> <laughs>